What's up, y'all? I'm right back again, man, with another Earl Spence video. Hey. Hey, man. L listen to me, man. Earl Spence versus Manny Pacquiao will be the biggest fight in boxing right now. And I haven't lost all hope that it won't happen. Um, I still think it's very possible. And I actually think it's on the table. But, uh... I seen an interview with Freddie Roach. This was a week or two ago, though, but I'm just bringing it back up because um, it adds to my topic. Freddie Roach said that he would love for Manny Pacquiao to fight Earl Spence. And at first, I was thinking how ironic that he said it. Uh, after Earl Spence's car crash. Um, which was an obvious, like, you know what I'm saying, funny move to me, but... Um, when you switch to Verizon, right you'll here. get a free Pixel 4 when you buy another, because the network more people rely on... Just so y'all know I'm talking facts or something. You know what I'm saying? Because some people who don't watch my channel don't know when I'm playing, talking shit, or when I'm actually talking some straight-up facts. But this is some facts, man. Here go the title right here. It's a fight hype video. Read the title. Freddie Roach. What did I say? Reveals his Pacquiao opponent preference once challenge Spence or Danny Garcia. Look. There you go right there. Uh, Danny Garcia was just at uh, Robert Easter fight, right? Last weekend. Him and his daddy, Angel Garcia, was doing interviews talking about Earl Spence's car crash and, and the potential fight, and it sounded like they lost all confidence that they would get the fight um, between Spence and Manny Pacquiao. They said Manny Pacquiao was using Danny Garcia's name for clout, for attention. That's what Danny Garcia said out of his mouth. Then, Angel Garcia said they was looking forward to the Earl Spence fight, but they don't think they're going to get it. And then Danny said he didn't get a call from neither, from nobody, from nobody. Danny Garcia said he didn't get a call from nobody to fight nobody. So he assuming that Manny or Spence, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? He ain't fighting Spence, so they're going to look forward to Manny, but he ain't getting no call from Manny either. So look, man, this thing, Earl Spence just got uh, posted a snap that I already did a video on. And, uh, with the cameras in the background with him getting out the hospital with the cameras. I'm talking about cameras, bro. And you know what time it is. Uh, when Earl Spence, when he finally come out, it's going to be big. He not just coming out on some regular shit. That's why he be, be been deleting his Instagram shit at first. There ain't no broken bones and all that shit. That's why he deleted that shit because he, they, wanted, they got a strategy on how they finna come out. Maybe they come out with a fight. Maybe, however they come out, it's going to be big. And I'll hate for your fight to be around that motherfucking day, a couple days later or something, because he finna take all the attention. All the eyeballs finna shift from your, cancel your fight. Cancel your fight. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, but, but when he, uh, when they come out, man, it's going to be big, man. And Manny Pacquiao just went hard. You know what I'm saying? In his last two fights, both pay-per-views, and Earl Spence just fought in both pay-per-views. Two, pay two pay-per-views versus two pay-per-views. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is on the road. These dudes on the road, man. And and only and it makes most sense to put them in the ring to have the biggest fight in boxing right now. Period. If you think another fight is bigger than this fight, tell me right now. Drop that shit in comment, and I'm finna squash it. Because I'm telling you right now, um, there's not that many fighters fighting on pay per view. First of all, you know what I'm saying. Only other fighter that's fighting on pay per view is what Wilder and yeah, Wilder fighting Luis Ortiz, which is a rematch. Good fight, and I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna watch it. But uh, another big fight would be. Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. That'll be a big fight, but 
I'm talking. I still think Earl Spence versus Manny Pacquiao is even bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? It is. But anyways, this is the biggest fight in boxing, man. And it makes the most sense to make this fight next. Next. And I think Pacquiao, um, I think Freddie Roach and Pacquiao feel like they maybe got a chance versus Earl Spence now since of all the shit that he got going on around him. But this thing, I think Earl Spence setting a bread trap for these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You ever you ever laid down some bait? You ever laid down some bait through that bit or, or went fishing, laid down some bait, caught a big ass stupid fish, or, or or like I said, like a bread trap. You lay down that motherfucker trap when they claws is over for them. And I think this that's what Earl <laughs> I think that was the type of shit Earl on. And, and, and Manny Pacquiao fuck around for all in the trap because I'm telling you it's gonna be it's a big ass ditch and Earl done laid a whole bunch of grass and leaves and sticks and stems on that motherfucker and Manny Pacquiao finna la 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 you feel me think he finna come fight Earl beat uh, beat up Earl Spence because he feel like Earl Spence ain't focused and Earl Spence just got a car crash and they feel like this the best time to fight him you know what I'm saying. The kid get that to get that bag, cause that's a big bag. Don't get it twisted. That's almost a million pay per view buys, if not that or more. This shit gonna shatter all records, all records there is. This shit gonna finish shatter all the all, all the TV records that Earl Spence versus Sean Porter already held finna get shattered by many versus Earl. Um, the promotion is gonna be a killer promotion. Um, they gonna put it all on the line behind this fight. PBC on Fox gonna put it all on the line with this fight if this fight happens um, I can see this promotion being probably the best promoted fight in years since May Mayweather versus I don't know some fucking body um, this gonna be the biggest promoted fight of, of the recent years man a long time it's gonna be I'm talking about heavy cause they know they are gonna get the return See, the thing about promoting fights real heavy, if they know they're getting a huge return, best believe they dumping it all in. You see how they promoted Earl versus Shine? That was a killer promotion. See how they promoted many fights versus uh, Keith Thurman? That was a high promotion. But, uh, <laughs> I played too much, bro. But look, man, this going to be a killer promotion. I'm talking huge, bro, huge. So, yeah, um, I hope we get this fight, man. I hope we get this fight, man. I got a feeling, I got a gut feeling that it's on the table. Earl don't want to fight Danny. Earl want them belts. Manny want that bag. And guess what? Well, guess where the bag at? It's between y'all two. You know what I'm saying? The bag for Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao chasing Floyd, but Floyd want an exhibition. Floyd... Many want to fight. He want a 12 round bout. And he want a real fight. He want a real bag for the fight. So, um, this would do it. This would do it. I, I, I see somewhere, anywhere around a million or more pay per view buys for this fight. But, Manny, you know what I'm saying? If he's smart, this the perfect uh, fight for you next, man. This the perfect fight. And Earl Spence, go on. Mop this boy up, you know what I'm saying? Getting that motherfucker tramp, train like getting that camp train like you never did before, you know what I'm saying? But this day, y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all think on this, man. I'm out, peace.